Today, we take a look at the G.I. Joe Classified Series number 141, our very first G.I. Joe vs. Cobra 2 pack, Steel Corps Commander vs. Twilight Guard. I am The Ruckus, and this is G.I. Reviews. How you guys doing? You see what we got in front. Let's jump into it. Like I said, it's the first... We've had two packs before, but not under the banner of a versus. This is a versus. We have a uh, a uh, a good guy versus a bad guy. Because uh, if I'm not mistaken, all of our previous two packs have been uh, individuals that are on the same side, so to speak, or a human and an animal, a pet. This is our first versus. So we we get a GI Joe and a Cobra to go round. And uh, I am here for it. We have uh, a leader now for the Steel Corps, which is building up. When you take in consideration the uh, Steel Corps Trooper 2 pack, they came. those packs came with three additional helmets. So you could actually pass it around to other Joes. Uh, and they could be, I don't know, honorary members or however you want to classify them. Uh by having those helmets so that's pretty cool and uh, I do know that uh, a few other figures have come with their own helmets uh, clutch with that comes to mind so yeah that is building up as far as the Twilight Guard this is the first that I've seen of uh, this particular division of Cobra and uh, he's looking pretty good we'll see what's up when we get him out of the packaging but before we get into that let's take a look at the rear of the packaging you have some nice some nice uh, digital artwork there uh, it is uh, it's got uh, a versus scene you've got the uh, Steel Corps commander firing upon the Twilight Guard who's about to uh, attempt to do some damage with that sword and you have the thumbnails showing the uh, shoulder actions of the uh, respective figures there. We've got artwork, dual artwork on the side there. And uh, yeah, so uh, that's how it looks for our very first Versus 2-pack. Here's the set out of the packaging still in the clamshell. And uh, first thing I'll uh, note are the uh, respective crazy looking colors for um, the weapons. The, uh, the commander is rocking a, uh, a blue that uh, is like a purplish kind of blue, whereas the guard is straight up purple with what uh, he's sporting. Um, while I'm in there, you can see that he's also sporting a, a soft goods cape. That's going to be interesting to see when I uh, unleash him from his clamshell prison. Uh, now to state the elation. And that is, these two guys are chock full of accessories, of, of, of in particular weapons. I mean, the commander here, he's got four of the uh, the purple blue kind of uh long range weapons there and um then there's a m16 style weapon that that is just straight black down below the guard has got uh four weapons and uh it looks like uh, and a uh, sidearm right there there are blast effects you've got uh you've got a belt for ammo then you split it apart. There are more of blast effects. There's a knife for uh, the commando, the commander, and um, I'm quite sure there's a. Uh, oh yes, yeah, see, I almost missed it. Sidearm down below, and another knife. That knife matches. This knife matches uh, the Twilight Guard's color with the gray, and then you've got this. Uh, gold rimmed uh sidearm down below so um yeah this is looking pretty good i'm i'm uh, I, i'll be excited to uh test these uh these weapons out here they go out of packaging probably the only time they'll be standing next to one another in a civilized manner with all of the uh the armament that they 
came with. Uh, they're basically uh, just probably itching to tear one another apart. But um, for now, we have a ceasefire. So uh, with that being said, checking out what we got going on here, they, uh, they're a nice looking pair of figures from my vantage point. The uh, Steel Corps commander, you see he's laced in green, uh, his uh, shoulder pads, olive green, and his vest. We've got black in there, and uh, some of the pouches that are sculpted in could have used some paint, but at least we have some black there to give us some distinction. And uh, then you also have, uh, he's like a... Uh, a uh, it's it's a gray it's like a, a very light purple uh the uh crotch area of his uh trousers and the trim inner inside trim are also that purple black boots black gloves his uh sleeves are also purple that helmet though but we'll get into that when we look at him close up as far as our uh our twilight guard is concerned He's basically uh, molded in uh, a black. He's got some silver trim on his sleeves, moving his his uh, uh, crossed chest harness. His emblem, his cobra emblem, is silver. The and uh, his helmet is also nice too. And we'll take a closer look at that. He's got a. Uh, a shoulder pad is kind of like a mid bicep uh, protector, and uh, on the other side we've got the uh, soft goods cape, black on the outside, red on the interior, and uh, he's got another shoulder pad there. But uh, what we'll do is we will move our twilight guard aside and step up our commander here. And uh, I'm going to, uh, let's get him a little bit closer. That way we could see some better details going on with him. Looking at the helmet, gold for the most part. Uh, the visor, we'll call that the visor. That's like a charcoal gray. His, uh, the lenses are uh, pretty nice. They're uh, opaque black and they've got uh, like this uh, nice shade of blue skimming across them giving the uh, giving the lenses some personality if you will we've got some color there his uh, on his right shoulder we've got uh, silver and uh, some blue that uh, right uh, shoulder pad we've got uh, shells uh, adorning those he has his uh, steel core emblem going on on his uh on his left side we've got uh on the uh, the uh the uh, wrist or forearm guards they're black both of them they're identical and uh the same color everything else with the uh thigh straps with his little uh, pouch there, not so little pouch, I should say, and whatever else there is. And then he's got his holster for his sidearm. So uh, he's looking pretty good. He's got a uh, sheath for his knife going across his chest. And uh, yeah, pretty nice there. His uh, articulation, let's get that, let's rock that real quick. Head is on a, uh, it is on a ball hinge. And uh, the neck is also articulated, so you'll get you'll get some decent uh, movement there. You can see he can look that far down. He can look that far up pretty good. And he uh, has got the uh, tilt side to side. Of course, you can rotate him. You can, with those shoulder pads, they'll get in the way, but you can probably get a full T-pose with him. Uh, if you get those uh, shoulder pads out the way, of course, you get 360 it. He does have the butterfly joints in there, so he can uh, rear back that far. He can clasp, uh, uh, I guess, average right there. He's got the bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. They're pinless, of course. He's got uh, rotating wrists and a horizontal hinge on the left side, vertical hinge on the right. He has this, this part here I think you guys will like. 
he has a uh, inverted ab crunch so he can he can crunch a bit and go back a bit but he also has a uh, waist a ball joint for the waist so you're going to get all of that and you can get your twist in there and combine that with your bending over so pretty good he can van dam it with the splits he's got the drop downs he can kick forward the more than 90 go up that way he's got the thigh cut double jointed knees pinless of course he's got the swivel at the boot he can point his toe nicely he can even get it up nicely of course he's got the ankle pivot and he's got the uh, the peg holes at the bottom of his feet so uh, our steel core commander has got all the articulation you can basically 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 ask for so moving him out the way and getting our twilight guard his uh, helmet isn't as quote unquote colorful as the commanders but it's still impressive the uh, the helmet itself the dome piece is a shiny black pretty nice there and uh, the uh, faceplate is a shiny silver his ridged, his uh, the lenses, it's got some, uh, looks like amber colored lenses there. He's got the uh, silver, uh, whatever this is supposed to be, uh, I, don't, I don't know, the. Uh, it's, it's probably just, uh, you know what I'm saying, aesthetic, just to look cool. Uh, silver on his helmet there. He's got uh, the nice straps going down. His web gear is on point. He's got, uh, like I said, the silver paint on his uh, for his uh, his uh, Cobra logo and there's some more studs going on on the left side of his upper chest his uh, web gear is just molded in a, a, a flat gray looks kind of plastic he can't front same thing with uh, the uh, the belt harness there he does have black paint and uh, a V which I don't understand what that's supposed to be for Somebody who knows, let me know. He has uh, a uh, sheath there, looks like for a nice long knife. Wow. And uh, then, of course, there's his holster on his uh, left thigh. Black, uh, basically, basically, like I said, molded in black. His uh, inner uh, sleeves are that purple. That uh, left shoulder or uh, uh, bicep guard you see what we got going on there we've got uh, like orange and then uh, kind of like a, a gray and then you have this action going on here that shows uh, it's got to uh, uh, it looks like two it looks like four crescent moons and uh, probably the uh, the symbol yeah there's a T in there so that would be for Twilight I assume Flapping back that soft goods cape, we just have a basic uh, uh, bicep guard there, and then the soft goods cape itself. It uh, drapes over the right side of the figure, and black on the outside. And you see, it's a, a reddish color on the inside. Pretty cool. Lifting up, you don't really have anything going on in the rear, and uh, that's about the size of it. With uh, with our Twilight Guard, his articulation it looks like his head is on a uh, dumbbell, as far as I can tell. It's looking like it's a dumbbell. It, it, the way it's going back, I almost think it's a hinge that I just can't see. Either way, you can look up that far. You can look down that far, which is cool that he can look up that far because uh, he's going to be battling our um, Steel Core uh, commander. If he ever dons a, a jetpack, he's going to have to look up at him. You can. He's got some nice, nice attitude going on there. And, of course, you could 360 it. You can T-pose him. He can, uh, you know, do the uh, 360. He has. He also has the, uh, the uh, butterfly joints in there. Bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows. Pretty cool. Swiveling wrist and the hinge horizontal on the left and uh, vertical on the right. He has an ab crunch. He can go forward that far. 
that far back. And he also rocking the uh, waist ball joint there. So you're going to get your articulation there. He also can Van Damme it, drop downs. He can get his, uh, his legs up to 90, go back that far. He's got the thigh cut. He's got the double jointed knees. Mines are tight, but they'll go. Pinless, of course. He's got the boot swivel. He can point his toe forward that far. Up that far. He's got ankle pivot. And he also has holes at the bottom of his feet. So, yeah, these guys are pretty good articulation-wise. Uh, one other thing, I'm going to uh, bring the commander back in. When I uh, demonstrated his ability to go forward, I should have noted that uh, maybe you guys saw it for yourselves. He, uh, you know, he can go forward pretty well. We're talking G.I. Joe Classified here. And uh, with the vests, they were notoriously known for not being able to get anything with the uh, torso. Well, um, Hasbro seems to have corrected that because this is still an overlay, his vest, but... It's thinner. It's thinner. It's not as thick as it was. So that really, really assists with the articulation for uh, the torso. Here I have both our Steel Core Commander and our Twilight Guard loaded up. In the case of the uh, Guard, I should say loaded down because uh, he is rocking everything that uh, he comes with. In fact, let me move our uh, commander out of the way. They, by the way, uh, they're loaded down. They, the ceasefire uh, continues, though they are chomping at the bit, just to let you guys know. Uh, when I say loaded down, you see he's got his, uh, his saber there. Um, and the scabbard is uh, connected to his left side. His weapon... His sidearm with the uh, silver uh, slide is in its holster. You see he's rocking one of his uh, purple-hued uh, weapons uh, in his hand. And uh, he's got a knife. I've got to show you that knife because it's a nasty piece of work. I'm going to pull that out real. Get this going on. So you see what we got going on there. So, yeah, I think he can uh, do some damage with that knife if it came down to it. And, of course, he's got this. I believe it's a cutlass. I think that's what they're called. Uh, and then turning him to the rear, he's got his other uh, two weapons. Basically, uh, kind of futuristic looking shotgun on one side. And uh, that's totally futuristic going on over there. And he even has a uh, space down here to uh, port his other weapon if he so desired. So, uh, yeah, Twilight Guard is no joke. I'm sure when he's uh, using that, uh, that sword, he's got to drop that, uh, that backpack for sure. Move him out of the way. And uh, taking center stage will be our Steel Corps commander. You see, you see, we got him rocking one of his weapons uh, in his hand there. I believe we've seen this before. And then he's got the uh, the gold-plated slided uh, sidearm. And his knife, of course, is in his, uh, his uh, chest harness. And uh, I believe, oh, you know, he's actually got, uh, he's got a holster there in the rear and uh he's got he's got two more holsters now that i'm looking at it and i don't really oh well, that's not a holster my bad this is not a holster but he does have an opening for the uh the rear and uh i've got to go double check to see if he has another weapon that i have missed well the end result is i'm not missing any weapons every slot in the clamshells have been accounted for so uh, that's a mystery he's got uh, an extra an extra holster which is cool because uh, I've got extra weapons I'll be able to fill it so I'm not worried about that but you see what he's rocking in hand and I already showed you uh, the uh, the pistol 
in question, uh, or at least where he's holding it. I'll pull it out so you can get a better look at it because it is nice looking with that uh, with that slide there. So you got that. Now, I uh, you can of course equip your uh, figs any way you want. The way it's feeling loose in here, I'm starting to think that this is for something else, and there's nothing else for it to be for. So that's where the that's where uh, that uh, sidearm is going to uh, call home. Now, uh, unlike the uh, Twilight Guard, he's not uh, loaded down, but he is loaded. And uh, to take a look at the weapons in particular, you've got uh, this doozy right here. They're all that bluish color, which is kind of crazy, but it is. And uh, we've seen this before as well, just not with the blue. We have this sniper. And uh, keep in mind, all of these uh, weapons, the magazines are removable, and uh, so is the suppressor on this uh, sniper rifle. Put that back where it goes. And then we also have this bad boy, the, uh, the Widowmaker right here. It's got a uh, bipod, bipod, I should say articulated and uh, you've got a um, a uh, an ammo can and you could see that it uh, it is uh, has dispensed some some rounds already and you can also use uh, this belt if you so desired and last but certainly not least if you remember there was this plain Jane up in there for good measure and uh, this uh, magazine is also removable. So that's pretty cool too. This set is loaded down. Let me tell you. Here's the Steel Corps Commander with the uh, Steel Corps Troopers from the 2-pack. And uh, like I said before, the 2-pack comes with three uh, additional helmets different color the visors especially the lenses but you could use them they could be uh, subbed out with other figures and you could uh, increase your steel core brigade and as for our guard comparison we've got our twilight guard with number 50 and boy have we come a long way we've got the crimson guard personal bodyguards to the crimson twins Samot and Tomax and for GP, I included the original Cobra Viper, the Target exclusive from the Cobra Island, La Mission uh, Cobra Island line. Uh, you all remember uh, the fun times we had trying to get this guy. Yes, indeed, I definitely remember. Actually, I, uh, I was uh, very fortunate on my come-ups of uh, this cat. It was really, for me... Um, for the most part, uh, 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 basically an issue of right time, right place. But uh, yeah, still looks good. And so, our first versus two pack from G.I. Joe Classified series, I think is a good one. Steel Corps Commander versus Twilight Guard, the Cobra Twilight Guard. They both look good in their own respective ways. The Commander with the uh, mostly green. I love the uh, the helmet of the gold aesthetic, the sidearm gold. Uh, the uh, I love how Hasbro has um, has figured out the uh, the whole vest situation. It's still an overlay, but it's not as thick. And with the combination of the uh, ab crunch and the ball waist swivel, you get great torso articulation. And uh, the same goes for the Twilight Guard. He's got the, uh, the soft goods cape. His helmet is uh, equally as nice with the shiny black and the silver. Uh, they both did not skimp on the accessories, the weaponry. We got plenty of effects as well. You see uh, them using a couple of them right now, but there's a whole lot more where that came from. There's a whole lot to this set. Uh, I think it's um, worth a pickup. If you're uh, totally interested, if you're a uh, 
it, it, it's a no brainer if you're an, uh, a neurotic completionist like uh, yours truly. But uh, even if you're the casual one, this is a good set. I think it's worth the coin when you consider all of the accessories that you get with it. I mean, this is just straight banging. The uh, articulation on both of them are great, especially in the toss array. You get the, uh, the ab crunch and the uh, waist swivel ball joint. So you, you got all the articulation you need, a double jointed pinless all over the place. So you get nice sleek look looks and uh, yeah, this is just a great set. I highly recommend it. And uh, let me know what you think about this set down in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe while you're down there. Hit that notification bell while you're down there. And uh, yeah, this is just uh, this. I'm just going to fade it out while you guys look at it. This is a great set as far as I'm concerned. Let me know what you think. Peace.